Greetings friends. Welcome to Jeb Adams channel. Thank you for viewing and subscribing and I hope that you do return again. Hi ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by and viewing and subscribing and uh, liking and if you do like uh, then you can uh, hit the little bell and then every time I publish a video it will pop up on your reminder screen somewhere. So here we are with the Singer 403A. This one is called Sharon and we've taken the motor out, put it back in, uh, you know we took the, the hand wheel off to get the motor out and we're going to take the motor out again so we're going to have to take the top off and the hand wheel, I think pretty much have to take the hand wheel off to get the motor out. I'm going to very gently and slowly and carefully see if I can weasel out the motor without having to take off the, the hand, the balance wheel, the hand wheel. But uh, that's, you know, that's just speculation on my part, so we'll try it and see what happens. Uh, what I can say is that I was playing with the with this machine earlier, what I'd done was I had gone underneath and I'd put a towel over the machine in my head and the camera and I ran the machine and I could see sparks inside where the where the you know where the brushes are. So that's that's a sure sign that that commutator needs to be cleaned. Um, it's also a possible sign that there is some um, brush defect. I don't think it got wet with oil because we've already looked at the motor and it is it looks pretty good. So, so in this video what I'm going to do is I'm essentially going to get that motor out and then I'm going to take the motor apart because it has to be cleaned. That's, there's no ifs, ands and buts about it. The other thing that I, I noticed when I had the bath towel over the sewing machine and my head and the camera and all that is uh, a really noticeable strong smell of electricity and I think that is also a sign of uh, poor you know poor conducting occurring you know poor electrical conduction so um, a cleanup job should improve it quite noticeably so I have taken the top off, uh, I've also taken the door off there over there and then I have a metal tray for my uh, screws and things so I do have to go down to the bottom and take off the um, the motor holding plate, the motor holding bracket and that's what that cover is down there but I just wanted to show you what I did up here. Here's the my whole work table, my whole work studio. Uh, roll of shop towels, oil, couple of screwdrivers, few uh, q-tips or cotton swab batons and a uh, little uh, this used to be a shrimp skewer, it's now a, a pointer and uh, I've got some natural light coming in from the window so uh, I'll get back to you shortly okay I had loosened this screw so now I'll just finger remove it, thumb and forefinger remove it and that's out, we'll put that in a little tray and I'm just calling this by its official name to remind myself it's the motor holding bracket or motor holding plate um, so that's off now and then we'll just unplug the, the red wire and the, the black wire that yellow wire does not concern us, neither does that other wire up there or there, that's the other end of the black wire the red wire is coming from up there somewhere, anyway so that's out, let me see if I am able to weasel this out, wiggle this out It's in there pretty solid.
You know what? I still have the, the hand wheel in there and the motor came out. And I was looking at the hand wheel and holding, you know, the, the holding the, the sewing machine up with my left hand and giving the top of the, um, the motor spindle here a, a little whack. And I didn't have to whack it very much because we had already had it out uh, last couple of, uh, of uh, videos. <laughs> Listen to me huff and puff. Hey, it's not easy being beautiful when you're 66 years old. So here's the beautiful, speaking of beautiful, here's the beautiful PA9-8 motor. And these are the screws where the brushes are. And these are where I believe I, this is where I saw the sparks in these uh, air, is that an air vent? It is right right there. It's a space between the brush cover. I thought it was in there, but I couldn't see it in there. There's our contacts. They're going to be cleaned, but they're not bad. And uh, we've got we've got this is residual uh, grease from the hand wheel. So let me get a screwdriver and we'll get these screws off. Beautiful. Put that one over there. We'll let that drop off there. And there we we're in. So there is a spring in here, and the spring pushes the the brush to contact the commutator which we can see down there and we can see that the commutator has you know big black stripes so it needs to be sanded or washed and dried and cleaned or whatever so this is the um, the brush holder and you can see the top of the spring there Ideally, we would be able to see how much brush is left. But I probably need a brighter light than what I have. So that being the case... So I think if you look at that carefully you can see the spring inside that square tube on the left side and the brush on the right side going towards uh, that black round part that says PA9-8 on the end there. So cool enough isn't it? I'll turn that off but I'll leave it on the table so I don't have to try and dive for it. So that one's off. Now we'll get the other one going here. And you can hear that snap. So these things have been on there for a long time. This was probably made uh, early 50s maybe, maybe later. I'm not exactly sure. You, if you check the number it'll tell you what allotment it was built from. So we'll take the cover off of that one. So I'll put both of those covers in the container as well. And what do we see here? What do we see? I think we already looked at that one. So now, or no. Well, I'm not sure now. 
but we can see that they are there, the tubes are there. There are the, the terminals that keep the tube in place. And this is how the, you know, the electrical loop is maintained as well, that uh, nothing grounds it. The brushes are totally only, you know, connected to the electrical loop as, you know, to the, to the well, not the electrical loop, but yeah, in a way. Uh, because they are prov provide those brushes provide the electricity, you know, big time. So anyway, let's get these out, and we're going to be careful because we know this thing is spring loaded. So if we don't have a handle on it, it's going to go flying, and you'll be surprised. What? Oh my goodness! Good, 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 good. It landed right, right there. So, it looks a little grimy, especially at the, the commutator end. That darkness looks like fine carbon particulate, carbon dust off the brush. So, and uh, that may be Partly because, you know, the maintenance is, it's overdue. So we'll put that tube there, and then we'll check this brush out. There we have it. So I want to take a little bit of, maybe like a, a bit of toilet paper or tissue. I don't have tissues, I have TP. I blow my nose with TP. You know, I'm a guy, um, I think. So what I'm doing, you see it looks like it might be wet right there on that corner. Or if not wet, it, it looks like it may, you know what, it looks like it's actually worn down a little. But look at the dust coming off there, so it's, it's grimy, I mean it's not filthy, soaked in grease and varnish and old oil and, and weird stuff. But these, it, at this, now that it's apart, it's all going to be cleaned anyway, you know. Um, there's the, the contact, the terminal. This one I'll, I was able to get it out with my little thingy. And it's kind of looking the same way it was looking on the other one. This one looks a little cleaner down at that end than the, the first one did. But it'll all be a little cleaner soon. Let's see what kind of stuff we can get off this one. Oh, we got a little bit of grime. It, so it's, you know, like we noticed before, it's a pretty, pretty tidy little unit. You know, and uh, here we'll just cover that up. You know what? I've got a whole roll, and I've got another dozen on top of the refrigerator in the kitchen. There, that's a little cleaner. It always ends up on me. Okay, now we're going to go to the other end. Sorry for yelling at you. We're going to go up to the other end. And we're going to get these screws undone. We'll start them. And once they're undone, we may see a part fall out down here. Because our little brack screw that went in here, it goes into a threaded component that is threaded all the way through. And both this screw and that screw go into it in the middle. And the same thing on the other side. So I'm hoping that if I just undo this, that little brass, there, it fell out. See? There we go. Let me try and back up here so we can see a little more. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just undo this screw. Before we do that, I want us to look at this. And there's 
whether it be old oil, see there's not, I think it's pretty clean, but there's a little bit of moisture or trace of something, moisture or, or maybe it wasn't moist, but it'll get shiny when we're done with it. So now we've got the other one and we'll untighten this and then we'll see the other one fall out pretty soon hopefully. Well, it's still there. <laughs> It's a little marked there in the middle, but there it is, you know. So now, up here are these contacts. And there's, a wi there's two wires in here, probably red and black. Um, but who knows? Oh no, it'll be whatever color these wires are, green and black or green and yellow or whatever. So it's in there. And then behind those wires, before this silver part and the black part are put together, there's an insulator that goes in behind those wires so that they won't touch this metal case and electrify it, thereby electri electrifying the whole machine. And somebody sit down, turn the power on, and zap. They lose all their hair or fingernails or dye or whatever. So, so there's that insulator in there. And then on top of this thing, lying in the middle between this and that, is a little shim. And then also on this side, there should be a plastic cover on the inside of this metal part covering the end of that. So we'll just take it apart and see what all falls out. I'm going to try and do it slowly. So. Do I have a shim in there somewhere? I do. The shim is right there. Okay. So what happened there? What happened there is these two contacts came out of there. And these two contacts came out of there and there. There's our insulator that went in behind those. And here is the shim, right there, that keeps this lined up for, for joining. So we'll put the shim in there. This is not actually metallic, it's an inert material, it's non-conductive material. Obviously that's what we need. And we're just going to give this a little yank. Oops, still got my screws in there. There, they're accounted for. And here is the other part of our, our motor. And we see the tape here is quite dirty, as it is there. And there's whatever that is called, but that's where that turns inside there. And maybe you can see these these marks, these drill marks, I believe that is to adjust the weight and to align the weight so that, you know, balance the weight so this thing turns perfectly. There, it turns and there's no looseness or play. It is grubby. Um, it's not filthy. Here's the plastic sleeve and these things are really really fragile extremely fragile so be very very careful this one is in really good shape first of all because it's 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 there to, well first of all because it's not broken and it's still in like the day it was made condition so we have to be really careful with that I'm not going to throw it in with all the metal parts so there we have the spindle, or uh, whatever you call it. There's the commutator that we're going to take uh, uh, 1,000 grit sandpaper to. Then get to work on cleaning that. And when we're all done, 
Give it a good spray with an electronic contact cleaner. And then let the contact cleaner evaporate off that. Here is the result. The motor is apart and that concludes our uh, removal of the motor and uh, taking it apart video here today. So the next video will uh, highlight uh, cleaning the commutator and the, and the other associated wiring on that spindle. And uh, thank you for viewing and subscribing and watching and um, hit the notification bell and you'll get notified every time a, a video is published. Adios amigos.